in Tamil. Pachan Kerit Sarai, Pende Perin Shirapu, Kutala Ula Vahum Ula in English. If a woman shows reference to their husbands, they will attain great excellence in the world where the God flourishes. This Kura means that if the wife shows respect and care to their husband daily, God will make their life easier and better. For example, when the husband comes from work starving, the wife cares and gets food to him instead of watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have two Kuras both on uh, women's duties and women's duties. Anyone else? Anyone else has a yes. Um, by doing page 30 and 31, number 269, Addison and your condom, condom, the king kills at once, God delays and kills. I think this proverb means that if you commit a mistake, the God, the, and if no one sees you, the king will come and they'll go report it to the king. The king will kill you at once, except if there were no witnesses, then God will come into your conscience and kill you slowly, or if it's not in your con conscience, then he'll kill you like through another way, another way. Any other comments? Any comments on any other curriculum that we did today? Is a kill is literally means kill? No, it's like punishment. Yeah, punishment. punishment. Yeah, it's not literally killing all the time. It's, it's, it means it's punishment. If you do anything wrong against the rules and regulation against the law, the government or the king or the ruler will punish you, right? Is that right? In the course of law. But um, that happens at once and immediately. But uh, the justice of the God is not like that. He's not catching you and uh, putting you in jail and doing it immediately. It happens slowly. It comes later. It comes later, okay? So we cannot escape. Even, we, if we, even if we escape from the courts of law, even if we escape from the king's or government's punishment over wrong things, we cannot escape from the God, okay? It comes slowly. Either it comes later on in our life, or it can come on in our, when? The next birth. Right? Okay. You want to say something? Well, how long is it fair, though, if you, like, do it without knowing? Like, let's say you have a disease, like, something to wrong with your head, and then you can do it. Uh, there's an allowance in the courts of law. If you are mentally ill, you are imbalanced, and you did something wrong that you didn't do intentionally, then the uh, you, uh, what do you call? They won't punish you as usual as punishing a normal person. No, but what if nobody saw and? Pardon? What if nobody saw, but will God do anything to you? Like, if you are like God also asks the what do you have? Also asks the, what is, uh, the law of the king or the country look at the things. Uh, what did you do? They punish depends on what did you do. They don't look into that. Why did you do it? You understand, right? But God. Justice, they always look into why did you do? Okay. So there's some allowance there too. Any other comments? Um, I was uh, asking, uh, they're not saying anything about the coral that we read today. Yeah. Does everybody agree with that? That uh, you get up in the morning, you worship your husband, and then when you say the rain is going to say, rain and the rain is going to rain. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. I expect more uh, discussion from the girls. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's true? You think it's true? You think that's the way it should be? Do Why you understand no? the first Quran? Did you understand Did you what you the first Quran? Uh, yeah. Dibyan. Dibyan. Can you read it again? Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, 
Coral says as the a lady, she doesn't need to uh, worship God. Okay. If he worships her husband, the first thing in the morning when she gets up, okay, if she, if she has just, what do you call it, <laughs> such a loyal wife worshiping her husband as the God, or more than the God, okay, then uh, at her word, she says, if the rain, the rain will come. Do you think that's true? That can happen? Or that should happen? No. Why? Well, it can happen when the forecast is ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think that's how it should be? All wives, that's how they should be? You think all uh, ladies should get up and worship their no. husband in the morning? No. no. <laughs> no, I'm asking about the normal. Yeah. Oh, Just the normal, Just the normal ordinary husband and wife. Do you think the wife should get up in the morning and worship their husband? Yes or no? No. <laughs> so what? So what is this plural meant to mean to say? Right? Okay, going back to that story, can anybody tell me if anybody could have stopped Kovalan from getting into his bad habits and squandering all his money, who could have that been? Kannahi. So if she is worshipping her husband like God, then who is going to talk to him? Nobody can, right? So that's a relationship that's not possible to maintain or to keep up with. Because we all are humans and we all make mistakes. Between friends, between parents, we all make mistakes. And between us, we have the responsibility of teaching the right and wrong, saying the right and wrong, understanding the right and wrong. Right? It may have been like that long time ago. Yes, it was once upon a time, that's how it was. And then uh, that's when women, like very early period, women were equal to men. They were given education, they were given property, they had wealth. That's during the Vedas. That's the initial, very early, early stages of our uh, country, of our uh, culture. But slowly when we got into the uh, medieval period, the, uh, what happened was with all the countries, like we had the Islamic rule, we had the Christian rule, we had different uh, rulers coming into different countries and imposing their cultures and values. Then slowly the women became, they came to be like the secondary uh, citizens, the second class of citizens. The first were always men and women were always considered second, mainly because they were mainly associated with home and uh, bringing up children. So nobody thought that they have to learn. Nobody thought that they have to know to read and write. Nobody thought that they should have their own rights because they were there only as a family to serve the family. That's all their uh, need was. So then women were pushed to the secondary uh, position where they didn't have any kind of right even to express anything, even their opinions. Until up till like 1915, uh, women were not even allowed to vote, electoral votes. So Canada today, got the women's vote even later than that. Yeah, Canada was much okay, later. Sri Lanka got the women's vote long before Canada got it. Yes. Okay, so that's the important thing. So it's, uh, it's not only for our culture, it's all over the world. It's all over the world. And one of those days, as she said, in the Vedic times, in the Vedas, our text, the ancient text Vedas, the women uh, uh, discussing the spiritual matters, like you discussing the, where is the soul, where does it come from, and think. Uh, Garhi, Maitreyi, those ladies uh, equally, uh, di uh, what do you call it, discussing about the spiritual, higher spiritual matters among the men. Those discussions were in the Vedas and And among, we learned the Purana Nuru and Ahana Nuru, the ancient Sangam, 
Pine Creek? Yes. Uh, and about 40 pirates were women. So that's among the nine men, 63 nine men, uh, Karakala Mayor, she was a lady. Um, same place as the uh, Kanaki, and same family as the merchant class. She was well educated. She composed so many songs, so many which songs. is in the 11th Tirumurai. Okay. And uh, she was so liberal. She, uh, her husband uh, left her because she became so divine, another thing. And uh, she left her husband and uh, became a saint, uh, living on her own. So, so we need to see the parallels. Okay. It's a choice between different women. Karakala Mai, about the period of the same time of uh, Kandagi's time. Yes. About third yes. century, Kanakala about was, the same uh, time. Yes. And she lived in the same town, oh, yeah. the same class, as merchant class. Um, Karakala Mai was there. Her husband mm -hmm. was a merchant. One day, uh, he got uh, two special mangoes. Somebody brought into the shop and gave it to him. Uh, so he sent that to a person uh, to home. So she was at home, Karakala Mai. Her real name was Punidavadi. Her real name was what? Punidavadi. So there was a, a saint so coming for the food. You know the, what do you call, mendicant saints, they beg for food house to house. Okay, they, so she didn't have anything, the food was not ready, she offered the mango to him. When the husband came for the lunch, he served him the mango. Again, husband asked him to ask for the second one too. That may be indicating the mentality of the men at that time. Yeah. So two mangoes, at least one she, he should have left for her, right? <laughs> so he's asking for second one. So he, she was uh, in a fear, so how, how can I say that I serve the mango to somebody else, especially when she is not at home entertaining somebody else at home, not right. So uh, he went and prayed and Lord Shiva gave her a mango. And he, she served the second mango, it was much tastier than the previous one. The husband commented on them, how this was much tastier than the previous one, and she said the truth. He couldn't believe it. Oh no, you are tricking. And you get another one. Okay, so she went and got another one. So he got really, what he called, inside, or oh, she thought, oh, she's a divine yeah. lady. No longer I can keep her as my wife, and uh, she's uh, much higher than my status. So she didn't say anything, but then the next day he went on a business on a ship, and he didn't come back. He went to Madurai and settled there, married another lady, got a, uh, a daughter, and named the daughter uh, as Punidavadi, his first wife's name. She didn't know, she, they, she was waiting that the husband went on a ship and he'll come she back and then. Then somebody met in Madurai and brought the message to Pumbuka, Kaviri Pumbuka, and saying that, no, he's <laughs> married there and having a family, so relatives took her there. There, of course, husband greeted her and uh, fell on her feet and worshipped her as a saintly person. And then they realized this is not her life. And she left her husband. Uh, she became a saint, the lady saint. And uh, among the 12th Thirumurai, it was one of the oldest <coughs> ones. And uh, it's in the 11th Thirumurai. He's one of our 63 saints. So that's the same period we are seeing another lady with the same custom and other things as a different choice. The same period we are seeing Kanneki as a different choice. The same period we are seeing Madhavi. Nobody discussed about the Madhavi. Yeah. Anyone want to discuss the uh, recall of Madhavi? Who is Madhavi? Can anybody say? Yes. Hmm? Ah, okay. Anyone else? Do you remember the story? Who no. knows who's Madhavi? No. You mean the cat search and the actress story? Yeah? Yeah. She used to work cold and cold. Yeah, okay. So, Madhavi is a, the, from the same town. She comes from a different class, dancer. Okay, Kanakiya Kula. So, they have a different lifestyle. They have a, a different lifestyle. They can choose their, what do you call it, their, their lover or partner. And they can change their lover or partner yeah, yeah. too. They want to. They can choose their partner for their beauty, their valor, their fame, or most of them for their wealth. Right. As long as they don't have any wealth, they just uh, get the, um, what do you call, just, yeah. Their main responsibility was to preserve art. So in any form, they will do anything to preserve art. And the art was their wealth. That's how they were able to exist and that's how they were Mainly able to Mainly the music perform. and the dance. Art is like music, dance, um, 
anything like to do the column on the floor, body painting, all all kinds of art forms. They were the ones who were uh, writing, singing, playing instruments. So, so that was the Madhavi's lifestyle. She was very young. Her mother actually imposed her on these ones. Uh, she was a dancer. She got yeah. her first arrangement and dance in front of the king. It was very good. King presented uh, her with the Oh, that, um, mm, the or, uh, a, a, a necklace, yeah. a pearl necklace. Yeah, yeah. 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 She threw it and that fell in, uh, on uh, Kovalan's... Uh, yeah, so, and yeah. Thing, and Kovalan got that um, on the arm. And uh, so mother wanted, her, her daughter is young, and uh, she has uh, lots of prospects. Prospects means it's not by the education or anything, she know, knew all the art. <coughs> dance and everything and else. So she wanted to get a good uh, wealthy husband or a wealthy partner. That's how Ma Kovalan came to Madhavi. They never got married. They started living together. So they were enjoying their life. But that is a lifestyle of Madhavi or their family. Okay? So, another thing. so that's a different thing. Madhavi also educated one because she wrote a letter when Kannaki, when Ma Kovalan left Madhavi and going with Kannaki to Madurai, actually Madhavi wrote a letter in a yeah. leaf and sent her through a messenger. Yeah, so course. she was educated. And later on she chose her life. What she did was she renounced her worldly life and she became a Buddhist um, saint. Saint, monk. Monk, uh, monk. The female monk, what is it? Saint, no. Monk, uh, there's, there's more. Yeah. Yeah, she was a, became a female monk in the Buddhism. Okay, so they have lots of freedom, thinking, education. They choose their lifestyle. Karnaki choose one lifestyle that's like a very loyal to the husband. Whatever he says, he doesn't ask any questions and follow as per. Madhavi choose the different lifestyle, and when there's a challenge, another thing, she renounced her life and she became a monk. Okay, she got a daughter too. Her daughter is named Mani Mahakali. And uh, then the, again, when we see uh, what you call same thing, Karakalamai, she came from the same place. She chose a different lifestyle. If all three ladies faced some challenge in their life. Kannagi's challenge was what? what? Husband? Husband left her. That's the first challenge. Then he came back. What is the other challenge? Not captured. He was killed wrongly, right? So two challenges Kannagi met. What was the Madhavi's challenge? Yeah. The challenge was Kovalan with her. They had a happy life together and she was pregnant at that time. And uh, Kovalan left again for Kanaki. So that was a challenge for Madhavi, a struggle for Madhavi. What is the other struggle Madhavi had? Yes? She had to take care of the baby by herself? Yeah, she had to take care of the baby herself. And what is the other challenge? Just come on forward. Come on. Here is the challenge. One is the challenge. Okay, what is the other challenge that Madhavi had? take care of her baby later on and I think then Kovalan died she came to know about that too but she didn't have any choice she was uh, introduced to this life her mother she couldn't get out of that cycle in that family so you have to choose a partner and preserve the what you call practice the art and yeah. select a partner and earn livelihood that is the way that life goes for them so she didn't uh, have any choice her mother uh, showed her the way and she selected Kovalan and Kovalan left. Now she is in a position to select somebody else. Right? Because Kovalan left. But instead of choosing that, she became a monk. Okay? She faced the challenge that way. Kannagi, how did she face the challenge? When Kovalan left, what did she do? Waited. How? Yeah, she couldn't entertain the guest. He couldn't serve the saints or Brahmins. 
challenge. Yes, she is a real human right, woman right, and for justice. Sort of, a, she was furious. She was rebellious, right? She went to the king and asked for the justice, right? So she was, uh, she took another side. So that's how Kannaki faced the challenge. And we got Kannaki Madhavi Karakalamai. What was her challenge? Yeah, her husband left her too without no, say, saying anything, right? She was waiting for her husband to come, yeah? That's another challenge. So her, when her husband, uh, she found out her husband, uh, what do you call it? Uh, motive or husband um, decision, what did she, how did she face that challenge? Yes. The answer to this one. How did Karakala may face the challenge of husband leaving her? Yeah, he couldn't uh, choose her uh, or continue to uh, live with her as a wife because she became a saintly person, worshipable lady. Okay, so her husband uh, wasn't comfortable. Then what did she, how did she face that challenge? Uh, she became a saint. Yeah, she became a saint. So almost like a Madhavi, right? Yeah. But Madhavi has a daughter to raise up. So she embraced Buddhism. Okay, so she became a monk and her daughter became a monk in Buddhism too. But in Karakalamai didn't have a daughter, so she became a saint. There's another challenge for Karakalamai. She was a young lady. She was a young lady. She was she's not a Buddhist monk to wear the yellow robe and have an institution for the ladies to stay safely and being fed and protected. They have the what do you call it? Like a monastery. Okay? Buddhism has a monastery. There they are saints or monks can stay and they can eat, they can uh, stay there for safety. They were sort of a pro provided and protected. So that shelter was there for Madhavi, okay? To be there and to raise her daughter. Even though she is coming from a dance family, very beautiful and another thing, she, she did that one. She took off all her hair and she wear the yellow rock and became a Buddhist monk and there's an institution support there, okay? And she traveled around too. That's a different story. Uh, but Karakalama is not like that. He was a family life. She didn't go to the Buddhist monk kind of thing. She, then she became a saint. Still there is a risk for a young lady going out as a saint. What happened? What will happen? Yes. Um, lots of people might ask for arms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people may approach her with a bad intention, right? She was a girl, lady, and you know, other thing. So how did she overcome that part? She begged for ghost form from Lord Shiva and got it. She got the ghost form for her. She asked from Lord Shiva and got it. She herself sang in her song Karakal Pei. Karakal Pay, she got it. That's the internal evidence. She got the ghost form. Then nobody could near, go near her. And she started living in the cemetery. Tirvalanga. Mm. She was living in the cemetery. She living like a ghost. She got the ghostly form. She herself uh, addressed her as a Karakal Pay in her songs. And she started living that way. That's how she faced that challenge. So different challenges they are facing. Either they are with their husband, they are married or unmarried. They are with their husband or without their husband. When their husband left, when their husband died. Every time these women facing challenges after challenges. Challenge after challenge. So every time they have to take their own decision. But each an individual uh, woman 
took their own and individual, not everyone taking the same decision. Madhavi didn't go, uh, go to Madurai to fight with the king. Kannagi went. Right? Kannagi didn't get, became a saint. Kannagi was so furious and burned the Madurai, city of Madurai into ashes and went to Kerala, Seranad, where she ascended to the heaven by seen by the others. Okay? That was Kannagi day. Madhavi, she became a Buddhist monk and her daughter, her daughter also became a Buddhist monk. Karakalamai, she became a saint, but he got the ghostly body and started living in the cemetery, Trivalanga. Yes? Mm, I have a question. Because you know how you said Karakalamai became a ghost, right? Didn't she have to serve her karma first? Yes, everyone is serving the karma because there's still a soul is there. That's the karma here. No one is uh, escaped from karma. It's a, the right anger. You should have the right anger to the right person and right. You have to be a, first thing is the anger is not bad. First thing. Healthy anger is always good. Healthy anger means you need to get angry in the right time. If you don't get angry, that is abnormal. For the right things too. Right thing. And with the right person. With the, you are angry with the king. And you are beating up your kids or somebody else is not the right thing. You understand? So you have to be angry with the right person and express in a healthy way. So she went and expressed her anger in a healthy way to the person concerned. That's a healthy way of expression of anger. But she burned the whole city. Yeah. She killed other people too. Not only the kids. She spared. People. She said, Andanar, Aravor, Pannikal, Pillakal. Okay. All the righteous people, all the priests and Brahmins, and all the ladies, all the, all the kids, the and all the Pasakal. Yes. And all those are spared. Only the baddies. Only the evils. Evils. But, but still, you're like, won't God deal with all She the took the justice people? in her hand because the kings didn't serve the justice. King failed That's to serve the justice. A, a so she temporarily took it for a moment. And yeah. she did that and she left. That's yeah, it. But she took yeah, that's again another reminder. Like we can raise our issues, we can raise our voice, address against injustice, but we cannot take justice in our hands. Again, it has to be addressed by a proper forum. Like now, it will be the courts, the police, and everybody. But it is we who have to raise our voice against any kind of injustice that we see amongst us. You remember we were on the streets when there's a peak of war in Sri Lanka. What we were doing, we were prostrating and expressing our frustration and our anger in the right way in front of the parliament in the in the street in Queen's Park. That's a healthy way of expressing our feelings, our anger and our frustration. Okay? After two years after that, you went following that slowly and they are taking the path. Yeah, it's because of that, that now UN is following up with that. There are a lot of people who are uh, registering their stories with UN with what happened in the country. Not stories, the real incidents with which the US will, uh, UN will act, taking those into account, those witnesses into account, the UN will act and bring those uh, people to justice. But we can only raise our voice, we can only say this is injustice, this is the witness we have, but we can't go and burn up some country, can we? That's taking justice in our hands. That's something we cannot do. But as boys and girls, as men and women, we do have to raise our voice against any form of injustice and any form of inequality. That is very important. Even at home? Yes. Even, uh, even for the poor parents, your husband, your wife, your brothers, sisters, neighbors and teachers. You have to say, without any fear, you can say that. Respect always. Respect is always there. But it doesn't mean always the obedience. Obedience is different from the respect. Respect. Okay? You, uh, you, have, you, you have all the freedom to express your way. No, I don't agree with you. I don't like to do that. When somebody forcing you to eat, 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 eat you will eat. No, you can say no. It's full for me. I feel I cannot eat more. So you, yeah. so, so, so you need to learn to say no for your respectable ones. At the same time, always respect. Saying no is that doesn't mean you are not respecting them. So you need to express your respect all the time. At the same time, you need to talk and uh, 
um, share your concerns. That doesn't mean that you use abusing language or anything like that. But learn to say no, it's very important. Even among your friends, among your, uh, with your parents, with your uh, brothers and sisters, if you feel something is right that you cannot do it, you have to say. But you don't have to scream or you don't have to like raise your voice, nothing. But reason out. And it's very important to learn to say no. For which you have to have certain uh, codes of behavior or certain values that you believe in, right? Simply like that you can't get, go and say no to for something that everybody is doing. Yes. What happens if someone blackmails you to do that? Pardon? What happens if someone tried to blackmail you to do that? Um, anybody can blackmail, but whether you are giving it to it or not, it's in your choice. Don't give in to any kind of blackmail. If you need any support from the elders or some other mentors, mm -hmm. people, you can always ask them. Talk to people that you can get advice from, proper advice, like mm -hmm. your parents or even in your family circle, any other elder that you're close with. Even in the school, there will be some teachers that you can uh, talk to, but never give in to any kind of blackmailing. Even the emotion and blackmail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sometimes your friends or your sisters or brothers, they start crying and other things, or your parents too, <laughs> see? Yeah. But uh, that is the emotional blackmail. Black so you should be comfortable with your choice and you should be able to express and explain to them in a respectable way. You understand? Yes. Um, uh, just can I see how the blackmail is based the greatest problem because she turns into a god after another uh, that's uh, you need to ask him on that so on. Did you hear appreciate questions? Can you discuss on that? Can you say it again, appreciate? Um, did Kanishi have uh, faced the greatest problem because she became a god after not a saint? The Kanaki became a god. The Madhavi became a monk or saint, and Karakalame became a saint. So among the in state of those three ladies, he is comparing that Kannaki, how could Kannaki become a god? Is it because she faced great obstacles? What's your answer? Why Kannaki was elevated to God, <coughs> not Madhavi or Karakalam? That's the question. Yeah. You got it? Yes? Because they don't have to fight for their rights or fight for justice from the way that they show. They, they, they didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? They didn't choose to. They didn't choose to. That's the one. Madhavi didn't choose to fight for her justice, didn't she? No. So she just get away from the trouble and get a path for her. Karakal Ammai didn't want to fight for yeah. her injustice. She just get away from it, she chose another way. But Kannahi here, not at the beginning, but the end, she stood up. She raised her voice. She expressed her concern. She fought. That's made her above the other two ladies. So she was raised to the platform of the God. Platform of the God. But Kannaki, uh, but Madhavi became a Buddhist monk. But uh, Karakalame became a one of the 63 saints. You got the difference? So there's an... Uh, and back then, kings were like parallels to gods. So even uh, though if kings were regarded as gods, she right away when she knew that it's injustice, she gave her voice and she raised her voice. She didn't think that, oh, it's a king, it's like God. He's like God, I can't go and say that. I can't go and argue with him. She didn't think like that, coming from a very common uh, family. Okay, so that's the reason. So uh, that's how Kannaki stood up or separate from the other two Adi ladies. Two. Okay. Among the three, who sh should be, who could you consider as your role model? And why? Among the three, who would you consider as your own uh, role model? None of them because they are girls. <laughs> Good virtues and values, you can get it from the girls. Anybody, they don't have to be yeah. men or women. We all uh, get a lot of good things from our mothers. 
Yes. Don't be. I got a lot of good things from my mother and my I got a lot of good things from my father too. I wouldn't say yeah. just because So there is no uh, gender difference. There is no gender there difference there. Okay. You have to say why they are the role models and why you think that they are role models for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because like, she's the one who like fought for injustice. Like, she didn't find an easy way to um, like fight. Like, for example, like, one of them, like, they just tend to go instead of facing the obstacles. But suddenly, like, she went up to the king and she talked to them. And like, she, like, she wanted to win. Like, she didn't let her problem like, let go. Yes. She chose to resolve it. Yeah. Very cool. Good. Next. Anybody else? Who is your role model? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kanaki? Yeah. Why? She pretty much has the guts to um, save someone she loves. Or Pardon? She pretty much has the guts to prevent someone's death or fight back. She had the guts to fight, fight back, back and save the things, okay. What do you think, Roshan? No, but. Why? You didn't see any good virtues from any of them? Or are you gender biased? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay. Tell me what, why you didn't find any what of them good enough voice? to be a role model. She gave exception to the, all the good people. Yeah. The, all the priests, Brahmins, uh, all the cows, all the ladies, all the kids, and all the righteous people. How about the bad cows? Kill Cows are considered good because they are the wealth and they feed the people. Eh, nah? Okay? So, yeah. Even babies uh, drink milk. But Karna, it's not awkward Karna going up to the yeah, king. So we tried. Where did he go for the protest from here? Potawa. To the parliament. Why did the he go there? Highest authority. Highest authority, the parliament. In America, people went to White House. In England, people went to uh, parliament. Before they went to parliament, uh, their protest, to their hunger strike and everything. So we went to the highest authority to uh, say that. But they didn't come forward. That's different. But here the king agreed to meet Kanaki and uh, gave her the audience of him. And Kanaki has the opportunity to present the case. You understand? You got it? So it's not awkward. We are still now trying to do that. So it's not awkward. Okay? And also, the kings are those days approachable. I, for, I forgot who was the traveler. Yes. Either Marco Polo or some of the oh, Chinese China. one. They yeah. came to Pandian Kingdom, same thing. They found the Pandian Kingdom was some jewelry or something from a shop. Uh, he didn't yeah. pay back. Yeah, yeah, so when yeah. the king was out on, um, on the horse, the, the merchant just row a circle around him and said that you have to pay me before you leave this mm -hmm. circle. Then he stayed there and somebody brought the money and paid uh, to the merchant, then only he left the place. So the king was under the justice. Yes. He's not above it. No. So it was the time, it was uh, documented by a foreign traveler to Pandian Kingdom at that time. So it is uh, quite approachable, they are not that uh, uh, far away or anything, but he committed a mistake, of course. This Pandian king died, uh, that was true, and his brother came, became the king after him. Mm. That was, uh, so it happened. So it's a uh, history, uh, uh, documented history. It's not a fake story. Yes? Karakalamai, okay, Karakalamai, did, uh, okay, you feel that Karakalamai escaped from her problem, okay? Yes, I'm not coming because she still killed a lot of people when they're, yeah, it's uh, when they're mm. when she, she took justice into justice her hands in the moment, so that may be the critical thing. Well, they, well, well their lifestyles could still be changed. Mm -hmm. And everybody has part evil, part good. No one's going to be 
oh, okay, everyone has the evil and good. No one is uh, completely evil, no one is yeah. completely good. So, Kannahi, the exercise of justice is questionable. Abhishek says, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's very good, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so who is your role, madam? Kanaki, um, <coughs> because she didn't uh, hide from her problem, she decided to take justice in her own hands. Mm -hmm. Whether right or wrong, she yeah, wanted right. to stand up. She, she wanted to stand up and uh, why so why so and she executed justice. Uh, okay. Um, my role model will be Kanaki because she was fighting for justice and even though she burned the city. She was just giving back like the punishment that the king deserved, and like, she was giving back like the karma. So okay, so one is that uh, he uh, gave the punishment for the king deserved, and even though she burned the city, she had, that's uh, probably the karma. So she got the karma theory into that option. Okay. You. Okay. She never thought, never, what do you call, distant herself because he is a king, he is equal to God. And then she, she knew what think, was right. She didn't think whom she is opposing. She had, didn't have any second thoughts about it, somebody being powerful than her. Okay. She never um, thought about that. What do you think? Nobody? So we are talking about the three women, great women in the history. Yeah. One is Karakalamai, one is Mathavi, one is Kannaki. Which one inspires you the most? Madhavi is the, she's the dancer, court dancer. She the she has the with whom the Kovalan was uh, living with for a short time. Because of her, Kovalan uh, left Kanna and went and living with her, the dancer. So you didn't know the story that part. Uh? Madhavi, what happened is once the Kovalan left uh, Madhavi and came back to Kannahi, she was left alone. She was pregnant. So she is a, what do you call, court dancer. The, her family is the dancer family. So she has a choice of uh, continuing the family tradition. She can choose one other partner, whoever the wealthy, whoever the variant, and uh, carry on her life. And she can uh, rear her child in the same way as her mother did. Okay? But she didn't choose that. She wanted to get away from that, uh, the, what do you call it, the family, uh, the, the, that type of lifestyle. So she chose to become a Buddhist monk. Okay? She chose the Buddhism. She was a Hindu. But she chose Buddhism because Buddhism has an institutional, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, shelter for the, even for the women. They can, you can go, uh, shave your head and become a monk. You will be protected, you have the shelter, you have the food, you have the clothes. And she further she has to raise a young girl. So you got a daughter. So she chose to become a Buddhist monk. Okay? And um, her daughter was a heroine of another literature called Mani Mark. Mani. She was, yeah. So the. Um, you said Mark, he was Madhavi? Yeah? It was a what is a love message that uh, she is uh, really feeling the separation from the loved one. It was a very general letter. And in fact, uh, Kovalan sent back the same letter to his father. 
because it's a very commonly addressed letter and expressing their love and affection. So it could be applicable to father and son too. So the so same messenger, he said, no, I'm not interested in anything, but uh, can you say, uh, same, uh, what do you call it? take this letter to my father saying that this is my message? Yeah, yeah. Her loyalty, even after Kovalan was killed, she wasn't afraid. She didn't leave Madurai and Kovalan. She's a new place, totally new. She didn't knew she didn't knew anybody. The new city, Madurai. Yes. Did Kalani know that Kovalan was with Madhavi? Yes, yeah, it's the same yeah. town. But did she see them and stuff? Ah, uh, I don't know whether she, she saw her or her or actually, yeah. but she got no, the she message. He's here. Yeah, got he left her. He didn't come back to her for months and months. No. Only time he visited her again is he when he left Madhavi and came back to Kandaki. I have a question. Um, you know the um Saint Valenti like prayed she got a mango. Pardon? Do you know the Saint Valenti prayed like she got a mango? The same. Yeah. Um, like how come like she got like can if any woman does it like? Which one? Like, they pray for mango, they wouldn't get it. But how come, like, she got it when she prayed for mango? That's why she was a saint. Yeah, but why did she get mango? Her devotion, and she was already elevated to that state. That's why he left her, thinking that she is a saint. Well, uh, materializing the things is not a new thing. So recently completed his life, Sati Sai Baba, he materialized many things. When he was a small uh, boy, when he was walking down the street with his classmates, there was a tamarind tree. He can pick up any fruit from the tamarind tree and give it to his friends. So it's not a new thing. I, I knew uh, what he called uh, um, uh, few people who can materialize the things and who can uh, transport the things and different things uh, from different places. One of the Swami, uh, what he called, got the fine restaurant, particular restaurant meal from London with the, the, with the still steam going up and things in Himalayas for one of his uh, other visitors. He got that food, the fine London restaurant food, he just got it for his visitor in front of him. And my grandfather's time, they saw what there was a lady getting a mango and also one of his visitors, he left his uh, diary, notebook diary, and the lady then she, who got her diary from his place to him. Yeah, this is a transporting the thing. And so those things are just, uh, it's not uh, uh, very, very extraordinary. It's, it's not uncommon, I would say. Yeah. Okay, it's not uncommon, yes? There are eight different, um, I guess, abilities. Cities. Adama cities. Adama cities are much different from material in the thing. Those are huge things. You can leave your body, and goes uh, in a different body. You can become the minute of the minute. You can be in the huge, the magnitude of form. Anima, Mahima, Lahima, Karima. Uh. So put the date at the top, then you know which day we are about. Always write the date on the top. Huh? If you can write in Tamil, that's good. And uh, this one, the separate date. What is the month today? Tamil? What is the Tamil month? This case. <laughs> 
What does literature and math means? Not all the time. Yeah, not always. It's a part of the chitra fall on uh, part in April, latter half of April, at the beginning of the May. They comes there. So it's uh, both month. What does it actually mean? I told you again and again. I am asking you, why is month of chitra? Yeah. Like, um, there are like different pages, so like, one stand goes to like each page, it's like... Each zodiac sign, each zodiac sign. The sun goes to the particular zodiac sign, the particular month. So, month of Ch Chitra is the first month in the Tamil year, you know that? Tamil year starts with the month of Chitra. So, where is the sun? Aries. Aries, yeah. Sun is in Aries, okay? Sun is in Aries, that's why it's month of Chitra. Okay, second part. What is the part of the fortnight? Which fortnight is that? Is there, written there. Brighter. Brighter part. Fortnight means two weeks, right? Two weeks is the fortnight. So you have the month divided into two halves. One is the brighter half, one is the darker half. What is brighter half, what is darker half? The brighter half is one like the moon. Yeah, right half is the moon, is a growing moon. Then, what is the? When it starts, it's the waning. Yeah, waning phase of the moon. Okay, so the brighter half is called Shukla Bacha. Shukla means bright. Shukla means bright. Bright half is called Shukla Bacha. The darker half is called Krishna Bacha. Krishna means dark. Krishna is a dark color boy, right? Yeah. Like a bluish black. Right, right. So it's Shukla Bacha. Okay. Right. Uh, then, what is the day today? Anyone? What is the day today? Nyayu. Yeah. Always is Nyayu, right? What are the other days? Anyone can say that? What is the second one? Nyayu, next one? Yes? Tingal. Tingal. Third one? Savai. Fourth one? Pudan. Fifth one? Vyala. Valli. Next one? Sunny. Sunny. Very good. You know all the seven days in time are very good. But always our classes on Sunday, that's why we are learning only Sunday. <laughs> okay. What is the star today? <laughs> Punar Pusam. Anyone have uh, their star Punar Pusam? Yeah, see, this is your star Punar Pusam. <laughs> Okay, so star is Punakusam. What is the lunar day today? Tidi. Lunar day? It's a brighter half, growing moon. Which day is a growing moon now? It's six days. Six days. What is the six day you call its special name? Shashti. Shashti. Shashta means six. Okay, the same thing. Shash means six. That's how got the English thing too. So, Shashti. Sixth day, bright half, sixth day. Moon is growing from the new moon to the sixth day today. Okay, it's <coughs> the sixth day. So write it down that one too. And you can write your English date also. So write down the month, the fortnight, the day, the star, and the TV, or lunar day.
parasol fell from his head. Uh, and the parasol fell from his head, and the scepter trembled in his hand. I am no king, he said, who have heeded the words of the goldsmith. Next paragraph, Wall Street. Mm -hmm. We already did that. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Next paragraph. I have always been true to my husband. I will not suffer the city to flourish, but I will destroy it as the king is destroyed. Soon you will see that my words are true. Yeah. And with these words, she left the palace and cried after the city. Men and women asleep by the way of the four temples. Listen, listen to God's and heaven. Thus, raising loud accusing voices, the people of Mahalan descended and converted them. And among the female strong, <coughs> some showed her husband's body. She, the golden vine, thus he held him, but her feet did not see. Are there good men here? Are there good men who choose their children and guard them in the air? Are there men here? Are there such men? Expressive reading? No, they said they already finished all this. You didn't do the whole thing. That's why you're reading it now, right? Yeah, we didn't finish the whole thing. I was wondering, are the couple of No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Then you, yeah, then you, sorry, you please. Is there a God here? Is there a God in this city of Madhya? The return of a king has came and edited that. Is there a God here? Is there a God? Okay. Um, next point should be. Yes, you can.
Confusion, flamed, forest on fire, okay, like a forest on fire. Who hasn't read so far? You didn't yeah. read? In the suite of the singing girls, where so often the table had sounded with the sweet gentle flute and the tremulous harp, the dancers <coughs> whose halls were destroyed cried out, Women, comes this woman. Whose daughter is she? A single woman who has lost her husband, has conquered the evil king with her anklet, and has destroyed our city with fire. There's a paragraph. Somebody read to read the paragraph. Abhishek, did you read? You, did you read? Anyone hasn't Somebody read so has far read this read. paragraph? Anyone hasn't read? Neither. Yeah. But the patron goddess of the city interceded. Oh, um, at last, the patron goddess of the city interceded with Kundagi. She agreed to withdraw her curse. And the fire abated. Yeah, we patron uh, goddess of the city. So city has a patron goddess there, and she entered and pleaded with Karnagi. Like as she pleaded, her, uh, pleaded Karnagi, Karnagi agreed to withdraw her face, and the uh, fire was abated. Weak with loss of blood from her self amputated breast, Karnagi self struggled to a hill outside the city, where after a few days she died and was reunited with Kovalan in heaven. Meanwhile, the news of her death spread throughout the Kamala. She was deified. 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 Deified means? Deiva Marka Padadal. Deified. Deity. You know, deity. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Temples were raised and festivals held in her honor. And she became the patron goddess of wifely loyalty and chastity. Okay. 
So you want to become like your mom? Yes. Yes. You? Um, he doesn't give you any more food. My mom. Anybody else having role models outside the family? Yeah. You are inspired to become like them? Yes. Huh? Your aunt? Your aunt. Vivian? You want to become like whom? Who inspired you as a role model? You know what is role model, right? Yes. Someone you inspire to, someone you would like to become, some, someone you try to follow, their style, their word, uh, their approach, their attitude, uh, something like that. So you idolizing or idolizing it, or something like that. Abhishek, right? Uh, Vasu? You don't have one. Judge Judy. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Right. Yeah. That's nice. Judge Judy. That's a very inspiring. So we can come to India properly. Okay. Guys, that will open up now. So she got one role model out of the family. Judge Judy. Who, who is next? My best friend. Your best friend? Okay. Many of uh, what do you call young kids and youth have their uh, friends as role models. Is it good or bad? Having your friend as a role model, good or bad? Um, it could be both. Mm -hmm. If your friend is like taking drugs, then it's bad. But if your friend, yeah. <laughs> but if your friend is like really inspirational. Yeah. So uh, you, uh, it's good, but the most of the kids, uh, the significant other or the role model is their friend. They said there's a big fall in that too. If they go in the wrong path because of their young age and immaturity, as you also follow. Okay? So beware of that. But that's okay. Yes? Sometimes bad, and sometimes don't take advantage of you. Yeah. Sometimes they are good, sometimes bad. Yeah. Yes? My other role model is John A. McDonald. John A. McDonald. <laughs> Why, why are you in there? Because he's good in politics. Mm -hmm. What what specifically inspired you? He was the first prime minister. That's okay. That is the achievement. How did he inspire you? What you want to do like him in your life? To be a prime minister. Oh, to become a prime minister. Okay. Yeah, you better make Yes. Your cousin? Okay. Gita? They are the role model in early life, you know. And when the kids and other thing, uh, when Bhavani go to school, she likes her teacher. Right, Bhavani? If she likes to walk like her, sit like her, teach like her, and other thing. That is a role model. 
Okay, the way she speaks, uh, yeah, that's inspiration. That's a, usually one of the parents or teacher. Then you grow up, you will get it. But when you come to the teenage, you need to have a really good role model. That's very, very important to, uh, what do you call it, to move forward and other things. Uh, most of the, the current culture, they have what do you call significant, uh, what do you call influence from their peer group. So one is to neutralize this peer group influence and try to, uh, what do you call, lift you up. It's a role model you have above your peer group. That's the one role model. Well, I would argue against that. You have to be smart enough to know what's good and what's bad, right? It is what they, what do you call, it's not my opinion. Most of the child and youth uh, yeah. counselors and specialists, uh, they talk to them. It's not my personal view. For which you do have to observe uh, the news around you, the people around you, who makes the headlines and what kind of headlines. It could be sports stars, it could be your own teachers, the values they impart in every day. Okay, they have a class, they teach you English, they teach you math, they teach you science. And, but apart from that, they may be giving some information which you will find in, inspirational. You, they, the way they talk about certain subjects, it will be about, like beyond your classroom. You may have people like that. Think about those people. Yeah. Me? Ah, oh. yes. <laughs> no, that's right. That's, that's what I'm asking, talking about. Okay. That's what it's just think about. When I was young at UAA, I didn't have much of the living role models, but some of the people greatly influenced my life. Uh, one of my grandfather, my mother's side. He influenced my life, and uh, also one of my neighborhood teacher. <coughs> I didn't know. I didn't. Know, I didn't know that at that time. Mm. But uh, later on, I think. But uh, two role models I really inspired is only one is uh, Magadma Gandhi through the book, and the Swami Vivekananda. That also through the book. Uh, so those uh, two role models inspired me when I was young. So it's the uh, happen. Gandhi himself said he inspired by two dramas, two plays. Two plays. One of was King Arichandra, who never say any lies, whatever the bad thing happened to him. You may learn about him later on. Other one is the story of Shravana, who was serving his parents faithfully, who were old, destitute, and they were blind, serving them faithfully. So those two plays he watched as a child, inspired him. He took those two characters as his role model throughout his life. So the role models uh, have, what do you call, help to shape up the life of the greatest people. Yes? I have two people, um, Mahatma Gandhi and Craig Kilburger. Mahatma Gandhi and? Craig Kilburger. 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 So, um, yeah, attendance. And also select the Tirupural and uh, uh, Proverbs. Yeah. In the book of Tirupural, yeah. 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 So next week, think of somebody that you can think as a role model. And we would Again, like to uh, select the proverb. Who is going to select the proverb? Yeah. You want to select the three proverbs? Yeah, okay. Uh, select the, whatever the chapter you like and select one proverb and another person to select the scroll from the same chapter. Ashwina, Harini, Harishan, Laksan. Saron, Gurigan, Lokisan, Dharmita, Janani, 
Ramia, Kaljani, Madengi, Mogishan, Girtika, Arisha, Nidusha, Varniga, Varniga Mayuran, Branavan, Bhavan, Sahanan, Saranya, anyone else didn't, uh, what's the name? Huh? Quite ticked it already. <laughs> oh, uh, Saru Jan in the Ananda. Okay. Anyone else? What's your name? Saumini. Huh? Saumini. 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 Okay. Let me go for the We need one more person for the forward. Who hasn't got a forward? Bye. Okay. Let me choose. Saumini. 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 Or maybe choose from the same page. Do you have any choose from the same page?